Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Administrator Regan, thank you for accepting the invitation to come testify uh, before the Science Committee. Uh, we had a good discussion that day, uh, the committee did on both sides of the room in the Ag Committee, and clearly the issues that we both address, this committee and you and your agency, are so intertwined, it's important you be here. But let me ask about an issue that's near and dear to my heart. The EPA is expected to shortly finalize its methane proposal, which includes the Super Emitter Response Program, allowing private entities, including, I fear, non-trained, non-governmental officials to report super emitter events and require follow-up action without any agency involvement or data verification. And equally alarming to me, the proposed rule as it appears to be headed our way, would establish two technology standards, a less stringent one for the non-trained third parties and a more stringent one for the industry. So I ask this, why is the proposed rule so prescriptive in the technologies industry is allowing to use to detect emissions but has a much lower standard for environmental activists? Will the EPA maintain a list of false uh, reports and set up prohibitions on repeat offenders? You, s you see where my concern's coming from. I do. I do, and, and I appreciate the question. And let me just say, we have received over 500,000 comments on that proposed rule. I've personally spent time... That says something when you get that many comments. <laughs> I've personally spent time with a number of industry CEOs talking about these very issues. What I can say is we take the comment period very seriously. We're looking at how to strengthen all of the issues you've raised so that that final rule will acceptably address all of these issues. Uh, let me just say that we do not want any adverse impacts or unintentional consequences to receiving any kind of false data or any kind of data that jeopardizes the scientific integrity that we have built into this program. So we are looking at every single issue you've raised, and I can guarantee you that we're responding in kind. Because we don't want to create a system that would appear to the outside world to be hiring bounty hunters who have a lot more flexibility than those who are being pursued, so to speak, right or wrong. And I appreciate that. This same methane rule proposal calls for new compliance requirements at facilities within two months of the rule being finalized. A number of industry groups have flagged that supply chain constraints for a range of equipment are certain to cause a delay in meeting that short deadline. And at the same time, I'm aware of only one application to the EPA from a company seeking to use new technology in detecting leaks at oil and natural gas facilities. So Administrator Regan, given the current state of supply chains and the lack of innovative technologies approved to lighten the burden, will EPA consider pushing the deadline for complying with the agency's forthcoming methane rules, give a little more flexibility? We're giving a lot of thought to compliance uh, flexibility and compliance deadlines. And again, just last week, week before last, I, I sat down with some industry CEOs to talk about this very issue and how we balance uh, the potential impacts to the supply chain. Uh, so yes, we are having these discussions. Uh, I want to just continually say that a proposal is just that. It's meant to spark uh, a lot of good conversation. And quite frankly, I'm really proud of the conversations we've had with API with Hess, with Exxon, with BP, and others about how we think about these very complex issues. We all believe that there's a technical solution. The question is, how quickly can we get there? And I think we're having some positive conversations about that. As you well know, where I live in uh, Oklahoma is a traditional uh, oil and gas, but primarily natural gas area, and methane's money. And the way uh, the equipment, the way the transmission systems, the way the processing handles has handled has changed dramatically in the last 40 years. Because to lose methane, you're losing money. Yes. And they understand that. Well, Mr. Administrator, I appreciate that. And we will keep a very close eye as these rules work their way through the process. But again, thank you for coming. And I suspect uh, over the course of the coming uh, months and years, there will be a number of opportunities where we will invite you back to discuss our common focus on science and the effective use of it. With that, Mr. Chairman, thank you, Mr. Administrator. I yield back.